Securities offered through T.J. Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. Content is intended to provide accurate information, however, is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult a financial, legal, or tax professional for specific information regarding your individual situation. Opinions expressed and provided are for general informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Welcome to Protect and Grow with Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns of TJ Stearns Incorporated. Trust, respect, and results. TJ Stearns Incorporated focuses on comprehensive financial planning and benefits. And welcome into the program. This is Protect and Grow, Chicagoland Retirement with Chicagoland's Certified Financial Planner, President and Founder of TJ Stearns, and he is Tim Stearns, your local certified financial planning professional, ladies and gentlemen, here to give you the guidance on what you need to be paying attention to, what you need to know in order to achieve your financial goals. And Tim, we always appreciate your time here on Protect and Grow. Peter, thanks for having me. Always a pleasure, Tim. We appreciate the time. We appreciate you sharing your guidance with us and, and the listeners to the program, the viewers to the podcast. Now, Tim, over the past several months, we have talked about a handful of different reports that you have. The, the 10 must answer questions, the eight moments to move your money, the seven financial myths, the six core issues, uh, five, four, three, two, one. All collectively, we've been calling them the countdown to retirement. And all of these great reports are available, but it struck me as we were sort of discussing today's program, recapping several of these, that truly when we're getting ready for takeoff of a space shuttle, for instance, with the countdown analogy, the preparation for that doesn't begin when they say 10, 9, 8, 7. It begins years, decades beforehand in many cases. Right. I mean, a lot, a lot of uh, ingredients go into the analogy that you just used. And I would say retirement does too. Um, you know, yeah, you did your accumulation over the last 30, 35 years, maybe 40 years. But at the end of the day, how are you going to get down the mountain is what we always talk about in our retirement classes. So, you know, I think uh, the accumulation part is actually the easy part, you know, because you take some hits when you're in your 30s, your 40s, maybe even your early 50s. Who cares? But if you start taking hits once you're retired, you know, you start dealing with sequence of returns risk, amongst other things that can really derail a, a possible to a, uh, a great retirement. And that's why, Tim, all of these resources are so important. I think each one uncovers kind of a different set of issues, a different angle. And I had somebody recently ask me, Tim, how do you come up with new material for the show each and every week? And I told him pretty, pretty frankly, that we don't. We, we cover a lot of the same issues in different ways. And they say, well, doesn't that become kind of boring and monotonous? And I said, have you taken action on them yet? And they said, well, no. And I said, well, maybe you need to hear it again then, right? right? So right. we're reminding folks with, with the show each week and with these countdown to retirement resources and with the book that you make available, income allocation, of all of the issues that they will face, all of the risks that they'll have to address in retirement. And ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like a plan to address those, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800-640-2256. That's your opportunity to take action. The valuable uh, ability from this program, the true value in this program is taking this information and putting it into action and into benefit for you and your situation and your financial future. That's the step that you need to take though, by giving a call to Tim Stearns, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. But Tim, again, this countdown set of reports and resources, you can make any of those available, that book income allocation, uh, the classes that you hold, Rethink Retirement, all of these are intended to give people the information they need to make well thought through and informed decisions. I, I like to think so. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's, it's food for thought because a lot of people, you know, um, uh, say, oh, I think I'm ready to retire. I think I'm going to be fine, that type of thing. We don't do that here. We, we work in the know. So we want to make sure that people are ready so this checklist is outstanding. Uh, you know, it, you know, do you know how, how long you'll be able to generate the income you need uh, for your paycheck? If your paycheck stopped today, you yeah. know, have you identified and calculated your re retirement income gap? What does that mean? Well, what guaranteed sources do you have coming in and how much do you need to come in? And that's your gap. So those are things that we do. 
do you know how much you have available in discretionary assets? You know, if you need a new car, if you want to take that trip that you've always wanted, you know, how are you paying your bills? And then how are you being able to, you know, those big ticket items, how are you going to be able to do that with discretionary assets? Um, you know, do you know if your, your uh, portfolio is properly diversified? I find a lot of uh, portfolios like that come in here are, are back backwards. So they're, they're supposed to say, let's say, uh, 40% in stocks and 60% in bonds, and they're the opposite. Why? Because the market's been on a 12-year bull, bull run, and that's great. I really appreciate that. But at the end of the day, if the market goes down, what are you going to do about that? And, and so, realistically, do we expect the next 10 years to look like the last 10 years have looked, Tim? I, I sometimes think people do think that's going to happen. And I, I totally agree with you. That is not going to happen. Um, you know, do you hold annual reviews of your, of your plan that, uh, and do you even have a plan? Mm -hmm. You know, um, most people don't have an income allocation plan. When we do them for people that I ask them, did your other advisor do that? No. Well, why not? You know, um, how diversified are you? I don't know. What's your risk? What's your risk uh, number? Uh, I don't know. You know, these are things, you know, a lot of people are asleep at the switch because the market's been up, but I want to ask anyone out there, how'd you feel last March in 2020 when the market went down? I mean, there's a lot of people that came over to work with us because of that month. Uh, we had told them, you know, all good things come to an end. Now the government has propped up this market as we've all talked about, and the Fed has helped out keeping it pumped up. I will end the recovery. Yeah, well, and they've been doing that since the Great Recession. I mean, essentially, we have infused a lot of money into the economy to recover from the Great Recession. It was called back then quantitative easing or QE. Right. But if you right. remember that, ladies and gentlemen, Absolutely. essentially, that was the same thing as stimulus. They were buying their own bonds with, with money that we didn't have. And now with coronavirus and, and COVID-19, there are several rounds of stimulus there. Tim, I saw a, a pretty frightening chart. It was from the Federal Reserve Economic Data, a, a website, and it showed that 20% of all the money that's in circulation right now has been created within the last 12 months. <laughs> and I, it just, it struck me as, as kind of being dangerous and scary, but, but again, uh, your, to your question and, and to the number 12 question on this report of the 12 questions, are you ready to retire? It's all about planning the question. Number 12, do you have a retirement income allocation plan in writing? And, the bottom line is, Tim, if we've got that plan in writing and the markets continue to do well, fantastic, we benefit. If we've got that plan in writing and the markets fall, we were prepared for it. But if we don't have the plan in writing and the markets do well, quite frankly, that's just luck. However, if they don't do well and we don't have a plan and then markets fall, we could be jeopardizing the entirety of our financial future. And that's why having that plan is so important. Exactly. Uh, you know, and I, we use the analogy of a builder, you know, how, how are you going to build my house? Well, I'm going to wing it. Let's not do that. Let's do a, a actual plan, you know? And I ask people that being kind of tongue in cheek, you know, and they go, Oh my gosh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with you. Well, you know, that's what you're doing right now in retirement. Um, one of the things I really like the tool that we have is the equivalent portfolio value. And what it does is it shows people, if you're going to use income allocation, this is how much money you need. If you're going to do uh, income allocation, you know, you know, with us, this is how much money we're going to need. And it's and less because we can do more with less. And you can quantify those things and show people how to Absolutely. leverage their money. You can quantify the risks that they're taking, the taxes mm -hmm. that they'll be liable for. A lot of things that people don't really have a great handle on, the fees that they're paying. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to know more about your money, what it's doing for you, how much it's costing you, how much risk you are exposed to if there is another market downturn, pick up the phone, give certified financial planner, CFP, Tim Stearns, a call 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. Uh, Request the book, Income Allocation. You can start with that or get your Protect and Grow plan put together. This is a specific, individualized, customized plan for your situation, a snapshot of where you are currently, and then discussing the six core issues that every plan must address. First off, 
who is your planner? What is their philosophy? And Tim uh, certainly shares that here on air, but we'll discuss that with you in person as well. Your income, your investments, your taxes, healthcare and legacy. That's another one of Tim's great reports is the six core issues. Lots of sub questions in each one of those topics. But if your plan, if you don't feel like addresses each of those at the very minimum, you owe it to yourself to get that protect and grow plan put together or to start with that book income allocation or one of these great reports, pick up the phone, give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. But Tim, I uh, I know that you can quantify risk when you're talking to people, they say they're aggressive minded investors. And then you ask them like, well, if we meet one year from now and the market has fallen 50%, how much of your portfolio value do you want to have lost at that point in time? Do you ever find that uh, maybe they, they come back on how aggressive they want to be a step or two? Well, it's interesting that we have to pose that question because 2000 through 2002, that happened in 2007 through nine that happened. So how, how short-term memories do we have? You know, we need to figure out that this does happen. So I ask people, you know, are you willing to put 50%, you know, lose 50% of this portfolio? And they, they go, well, no, you know, and then you say, well, you've lived through that twice in the last 20 years. So why don't we get a reality check, everyone out there? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And what are you do, doing differently now that would make the results any different? Right. And what's the def definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Yep. And I don't understand why people keep using asset allocation. It's archaic and it does not work. It's failed five times in the past 20 years. Well, again, if you would like to take a look at a different type of plan or get a plan put together or see what that income allocation, not asset allocation, income allocation looks like and what it means for your retirement and leveraging your money, doing more with less. Uh, pick up the phone, give Tim Stern, CFP, a call, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. And Tim, uh, another one of your reports, the eight moments to move your money. Uh, several of them have to do with what you uncover during those reviews, quantifying the amount of risk that people are taking, the taxes uh, they may be liable for, the fees that they're paying. Uh, if we find that any of those are not what we want them to be, that is a reason to consider moving your money. Right. I mean, one, one of them I'll talk about is style drift, you know, rebalancing, basically. You know, when you sit there and you see that a portfolio has over 80% in a 60-year-old uh, portfolio, over 80% is in equities. That's an issue. Uh, you, you shouldn't have that. Um, you know, um, also there's an opportunity out there right now for Roth conversions, you know, tax rates are as low as they've been in uh, forever. Um, you know, and, you know, the one thing that we are looking at is that we don't know what's going to happen in Congress. You know, if they, if they raised the um, uh, taxes, you know, with the president Obama that started at the beginning of the next year. All right. With uh, Bill Clinton, it actually started to be uh, it re retro back to the, the, it would be the start of 2021. So we have to be cautious of that, but that's a heck of an opportunity right now um, if things hold true. Um, the other thing is one of the great opportunities out there for people is that if you're 59 and a half, uh, you're allowed to do an in-service distribution. Um, I, had a I had a couple in here two days ago uh, that did you know, uh, each of their 401ks with that. Why? Because they were sick of being in the mutual funds that they were given by the co uh, company that don't have any stop losses on them. They're not robust. They're not active. They're not tactical. And they just kind of go up and down with the market. And no one wants to do that anymore. Yeah. Limited choices and options inside of a 401k is always something that we should be mindful of. Yes, we should utilize the tool where it provides us benefits, but we are limited in those choices for what we have to invest in. And if there are alternatives outside of the 401k that could be more beneficial, we should explore that. And we should explore the opportunities of when we can take advantage. If we've left an old 401k behind, Tim, I know you talk about consolidation in this report, a little bit of house cleaning, keeping track of things a little bit better, but age yep. 59 and a half, another big key milestone opportunity that we can actually, in many cases, take more control over those retirement dollars. 
uh, choose how to position them outside of the 401k, more choices and options and better determine the outcome that we'll have with them. Right. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we can do for people is take a look at how they've done. Uh, you know, are, are your funds underperforming? You know, so if you're in a lot of different accounts, you know, how do you know kind of how you're doing? So we analyze each one and we'll tell people, you know, you did better than the average or you did below the average. In most cases, we find mutual funds f uh, fell below the average with higher risk. Well, again, if you'd like any of these countdown to retirement reports, the, the 10 steps to prepare for retirement, that talks about the, the financial side of building that income plan, the eight moments to move your money, the seven financial myths, the six core issues every plan must address, the the, the five planning mistakes to avoid, uh, and it goes all the way down five, four, three, two, one. Uh, collectively called the Countdown to Retirement. Tim Stearns makes them available to you. Great food for thought if you're thinking of retirement over on your own, or you'd like to talk about all of the issues with your spouse or your family members or a coworkers thinking of retiring. Pick up the phone, give a call. Tim Stearns uh, here as your resource, ladies and gentlemen, for individual planning needs and will help you construct your protect and grow plan 800-640-2256 or if you'd like to get started with the book income allocation or the information in these great series of reports 800-640-2256 that's 800-640-2256 and uh tim that book income allocation it's something that you've talked about here on the air but as we began the program, sometimes people need a little bit of repetition in order for the message to sink in. This is something that is different than asset allocation, which most financial plans and investment plans are based on. Right. 90, 98% of the uh, portfolios we see come through here or, you know, uh, potential clients that are going to join us, they have, you know, asset allocation. You know, they have so much in stocks and so much in bonds. I ask them, do you have anything that's uncorrelated? Uncorrelated. That's a huge term, especially in the market when it's going down, that it won't go down on you, you know? And that's the problem that you have with bonds and stocks. You know, when I first got in the industry in 1994, that wasn't a thing. You know, stocks went up, bonds went down. The flight to safety was bonds. It was safe, um, you know, if the market was going down. But nowadays, you know, you had 2008, both, both sides went down, stocks and bonds. And, you know, we saw that in March. Um, so, I mean, I think that's the new reality and people don't remember that. Um, you know, they, they, well, it came back. Well, yeah, but why did you go all the way down to come all the way back? I mean, that's not the idea of investing for me. And in retirement, Tim, those down periods matter a whole lot more because we're creating income from that portfolio. If it's right. down and we've got to pull money out at the same time to live off of, well, we've locked in those losses, we've removed those dollars, and they're not there to participate when that recovery happens. And the coronavirus downturn and recovery happened very quickly. But in those previous times that you've talked about, 2000 through 2002, it took another four years to get back to break even, only to lose 50% again, which it took another five years to, to get back to break even from that one. Um, so again, looking back at the last decade where we've had phenomenal run up in the market, that's nothing like the decade before it. And it's nothing like the decade before that. And, and we've got to be prepared with that plan in place for ups, downs, or sideways in the market and the economy. And most people's plans are only successful if the market goes up all the time into the future. Uh, that's why we need to understand the premises behind how to structure a plan with an income allocation, putting the first priority in retirement, your need for income, as the foremost matter that is addressed through the plan. That's what income allocation does. That's what the book, Income Allocation, helps you understand and realize. And if you'd like that book, again, pick up the phone, give Tim Stearns a call, 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256, request the book, Income Allocation, 800-640-2256. Tim, another one of your reports, the seven financial myths, the, the number one on this is something that a lot of plans are actually based on. But the myth, the misconception that the market always goes up and we just, we know that that's not true. And yet so many of our plans base our, our lifestyle security, our financial future on, on a projection that the market does always go up. 
when I first got in the industry, Pete, in 1994, the, the averages that they told us to talk about was 3% for money markets, 5% for bonds, and 10% for stocks. And that is a complete myth nowadays. You know, and when I look at these uh, illustrations, I'll call them, or projections that these people have in their 401ks, you know, Fidelity and, and these different companies provide these. And it assumes that the market just keeps clicking at 10%. It doesn't. As you said, it goes up and down. You know, it goes up the stairs, down the stairs. Or as you say, the bull market uh, goes up the stairs, bear market takes the elevator down. I completely agree with that. So you need to watch kind of what your assumptions are going to be. We don't make assumptions. We work in the know. Uh, so I think that's one of the things that, that, that is going to make us different than most people out there. Uh, tell people, give us a call and, and, and we can figure it out with you, you know, because if you're doing things the old way, you're going to get hurt. Well, another thing, Tim, that we were always told and taught, and it is the premise behind the way a lot of people save for retirement is that taxes will be lower into the future. Taxes will be lower when right. you retire. And if that was not the case, then why would we have ever chosen to defer and delay paying that bill? But a lot of people now are looking back at those decisions and realizing how much of a tax bill they've built up for themselves in retirement. And then looking forward, Tim, I don't think we can continue to say that taxes are just going to go down into the future or are going to be lower in retirement. Well, you know, when you do a budget for somebody and you take them through kind of where they're going to be spending money once they're retired and they start to realize that, you know, the utility bill is the same. Maybe they still have a mortgage. That's the same. You know, um, things are the, the, what they're spending and what's going out the door pretty much stays the same. Groceries are going to be about the same. Uh, the one thing I will say we've noticed is that, you know, what one thing that's not the same is that they spend more money because every day is, is Saturday, right? They go out for dinner, they go out for lunch more, you know, they go on that trip that they've always wanted to do. Well, at the end of the day, you're looking at spending about the same amount of money. That's important to realize that, you know, you're going to need, you're going to need about the same amount in retirement that you'll need in, in uh, when you're working. Well, Tim, you've you've called that, and this is from another one of your report, the five planning mistakes to avoid. You've called that the gross planning mistake. A lot of people plan on gross numbers. They look at their 401k, they look at their IRA, and they say, hey, I've got a million dollars. I've got $3 million in that account, and they feel like that's fantastic, and, and rightfully so. You've done a good job, but not all that money is theirs to keep, is it, Tim? No, no, because this certain thing called the IRS has a plan for your money. Every dollar you've made, they've had a plan for it. So they're going to take their their pound of flesh as a lot of my clients call it. And uh, you know, so your the dollar that you take out is, is is really not a dollar usually. It's it's gonna get down around the maybe 75 to 70 cents mark, depending on what your income is. It feels um, more like m m more than a pound at times, Tim. Right. <laughs> feels like right. more than I would pound. agree. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, and now they're taxing Social Security, you know, I mean, the people don't realize that, that, you know, you, you paid into it and you got taxed that way. And, you know, they're, when you pull it out, they can tax again. How do we understand and control that tax liability, Tim? Is that a concern that you're hearing a lot about and helping people through right now? Well, what I always tell people, especially in our classes and especially with my clients, get ahead of it. Don't be reactive, you know, understand what your tax bill is going to be. What you if know? we've already built up a large tax deferred balance, though? Well, we've we've got that in our account already, and, and maybe we're in retirement or on the, the verge of in the next five to 10 years. It's not too late to do planning no. even, even still, right? No, and that's why I'm proud to say that we have a CPA on staff that will help with that. You know, we can actually quantify what that amount looks like so that people can can plan. We, when we do income allocation, we definitely take taxes into account. I don't think a lot of people do that, especially if you're using active allocation. How could you? Well, another one of your great reports on the countdown, Tim, is, is the three biggest expenses in retirement, how to plan to control them. You, you talk about three here, our largest known expense, taxes, right. our largest yep. potential expense, 
healthcare, and yep. then the silent thief of inflation. We're seeing right. two of those being talked about a whole lot right now, one right. of them sort of being ignored, and that's probably a mistake as well. Right, right. I mean, no one no one knows where how that other shoe is going to drop with if inflation comes back roaring. With, we've printed a lot of money in the United States, so I would have to think that that could be a thing. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, a great series of reports. Um, Tim takes a lot of time to educate area savers and investors, Chicago land area, retirement minded individuals. If you would like to have a plan to better determine your outcome, pick up the phone, find out about the schedule of courses and classes that Tim Stearns is teaching, Rethink Retirement. Request one or all of these series of Countdown to Retirement reports. Request a copy of the book, Income Allocation. These are the value-added extras that Tim Stearns offers to listeners to this program, to viewers of the podcast. And then Tim, if they would like to take it that next step, you also offer the opportunity to the true value of this program, put these principles, put these lessons into action with a custom individual protect and grow plan. Happy to do it. I'd tell people to give us a call and see if we can sit down and, and kind of figure out things. We're also happy to do Zooms, although we're all fully vaccinated in my office. So if someone wants to get together or wants to do it over via Zoom or even a telephone call, we're happy to do it. Well, no downside for placing the call. If you'd like the book income allocation, give a call now. Uh, no cost for getting a plan together. If you'd like your protect and grow plan, eight. 800-640-2256, the number to call. That is 800-640-2256. You can also visit online, tjsterns.com, tjsterns.com. Lots of, of uh, additional valuable resources are there as well. Your chance to request any of the information, find out about upcoming Rethink Retirement courses and classes. Tim, we always appreciate your time sharing your guidance and information here on the program and, and making so much education available to those who are serious about planning for their financial future. Well, Peter, thanks for having me. I look forward to next week. Always a pleasure. Every time we get the opportunity to speak with Tim Stearns, Certified Financial Planner, CFP, if you are looking for some help, some assistance, some guidance in your planning efforts to get that plan put together, or just to double check and complete your plan, pick up the phone, give him a call. He's looking forward to hearing from you, helping in any way he can. 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Peter. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stern's full radio program on 890 WLS every Sunday at 11 a.m. and visit tjsterns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe. Securities offered through TJ Stearns, a registered representative of Crown Capital Securities LP, member FINRA SIPC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature, not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.